The crime was so famous, Hollywood was even inspired to make a movie about it. You may remember Goodfellas. Well, one of the men behind the real heist of a Lufthansa cargo building back in 1978 got away with it for more than 35 years until today, when the game was finally up. Brian Moore reports. Nobody knows for sure just how much was taken in the daring pre-dawn raid at the Lufthansa cargo terminal at Kennedy Airport. The 1978 Lufthansa heist was immortalized in the movie Goodfellas. And to anyone who ever saw the mob film hit, there was never any mystery as to who pulled off one of the biggest cash robberies in American history. Hooded gunmen hit the JFK airport cargo terminal and made off with nearly $6 million in untraceable cash that was never found. In reality, the FBI knew within days who was behind the heist. What were they armed with? Uh, one fellow had a shotgun, and uh, as far as we <clears throat> determined at this time, it was about four or five other guns. Making the case, though, would take decades, and evidence that emerged only within the past few months. Today, in a New York courtroom, federal prosecutors laid out the charges against the few surviving suspects in what was almost the perfect crime. Vincent Nacero, an alleged captain in the Bonanno organized crime family, was charged with offenses ranging from murder, racketeering and extortion to arson and robbery. Do you have anything to say? Prosecutors say Acero talked about his role in planning the Lufthansa heist to an informant back in 2011. But the evidence that closed this infamous cold case, a corpse, was found in the backyard of a dead mobster. <laughs> He was the inspiration for Robert De Niro's character in Goodfellas. What's the matter with you? Just like the movie script, Jimmy brutally tied all the loose ends leading back to Lufthansa. I was going to be busy all day. The main character and narrator in Goodfellas, real-life wise guy turned best-selling author Henry Hill, told the world about Lufthansa. You know, we used to grab a few loads every week just about. I mean, it was, uh, it was like taking candy from a baby. And now federal prosecutors are adding a final chapter to a heist Hollywood made famous. Brian Moore, Global News, Washington.